Did you know that air cargo accounts for almost 35% of world trade? During the COVID-19 pandemic, air cargo represented one-third of airlines' revenue. In today's video, we talk about how is cargo loaded into a passenger plane. Even though different forms of transportation of cargo exist, it always depends on the value of the commodity and the speed at which they must be transported. Planes are the fastest form of transporting general or sensitive cargo. General cargo is loaded in the general cargo area of the plane. It includes items that do not need special handling when loaded into an aircraft, like most consumer goods, textiles, and mostly everyday consumed items. On the other hand, special cargo is the sensitive type of cargo that need to be handled with special care. This type of cargo needs to have specific types of packaging, dimensions, weight, documentation, etc. Even the transportation of these items must follow specific regulations. Special goods include pets, temperature-sensitive products, bodies, electronic gadgets, and many more. Due to the sensitivity of this type of cargo, IATA established three boards to manage the transportation of such items, including the Dangerous Goods Board, DGB, Time and Temperature Working Group, TTWG, and the Live Animals and Perishables Board, LAPB. Luggage is a form of cargo that is transported in passenger airplanes. Did you know that dead bodies are also transported in the cargo section of the plane? The family of the deceased are charged based on the weight of the body and the container it's in. Pets on the other side have two choices, to travel in the cabin along with their owner or in the cargo section, and this depends on their size and the condition set by the airline. Loading and unloading cargo into an airplane is a very time-sensitive process, since airlines make profit by flying and not by parking planes. This makes the use of special machines and a well-experienced ground crew very significant to not delay the departure of an airplane from the airport. The process of loading cargo into a plane starts from when a passenger checks in at a counter at an airport. A system of conveyor belts is what carries luggage from the check-in counter to different parts of the airport. These conveyor belts are normally kilometers long. From the check-in counter, the baggage gets carried on a conveyor belt to different conveyor belts where it finally lands on a baggage carousel. At this point, the baggage is still in the airport building. Airport crew are deployed to transfer the luggage manually from the carousel to a baggage cart or a unit load device, ULD. These are two different ways of carrying the luggage and loading it into the airplane. For now, let's talk about the baggage cart and discuss ULD later in the video. The airport crew transfer all the luggage manually to several baggage carts. The baggage carts are then connected to each other to form what looks like a train of carts. The carts are then towed using a towing tractor to leave the airport into open air, heading towards the airplane bay where it's parked. Now that the baggage cart arrives at the cargo section of the plane, it's now time to load it into the belly of the airplane. The cargo compartment is unfortunately above the level of the baggage carts several feet higher than the ground level. Hence, the luggage cannot be loaded manually. A special ground support equipment is summoned to do the job. It's called a belt loader. This belt loader system is simply a mobile conveyor belt that's carried on top of a truck. The truck that carries the belt loader has many controls installed on it to raise its level or even adjust the inclination for loading or unloading luggage. The belt loader has a conveyor belt installed on it, which is powered by a motor that goes both directions depending on if the luggage is loaded or unloaded. Since we're extending the belt loader to touch the fuselage body, there's a rubber bumper known as a boom that prevents any scratches to the fuselage or aircraft body due to the contact of the loader with the aircraft body. In simple words, the truck in this process is just there to make it easy to move the belt loader around the airport for different loading activities. The airport crew manually load the luggage onto the conveyor belt on the belt loader. The baggage then travels upwards and is then collected by the crew again manually to arrange it in the cargo compartment once it's inside the plane. Now back to the other loading process known as the Unit Load Device, or ULD. The ULD is a standard container that's pre-fitted to suit different types of aircraft. For example, a ULD on a Boeing 777 is different to that of a Boeing 747. The dimensions are standard for specific aircraft types. The International Air Transport Association, IATA, regulates ULDs sensitively. Each ULD is classified by its type, serial number, and airline name in details. The best thing about ULDs is that no manual work needs to be done by the aircraft crew to manually arrange luggage inside the cargo compartment. Indeed, ULDs automatically slide and fit inside the cargo compartment. It is then safely secured to avoid unwanted movement. In this case, by using ULDs, you avoid the movement of luggage from the baggage cart onto a belt loader and then manually injecting it into the cargo compartment like in the baggage cart process. The ULDs are carried from the airport to the aircraft bay using dollies that are then towed using a tractor. 
The dolly has rollers to allow the movement of the ULD container. Once the ULD container is on the dolly, engineered locks hold the container in place, avoiding it from moving or even falling during transportation to the aircraft. Cargo loaders, which are special machines, are used to load ULDs into the cargo section. Again, the cargo loader is also installed on a truck just to make it mobile. To this loader, there is no inclination. It is lowered to the ground level to be at the same level as the cargo dolly. The ULD is then loaded onto the cargo loader raised to the same height as the aircraft door and rolled over to what is called a bridge on the cargo loader system. From its name, it is used to bridge the space between the aircraft cargo compartment and the cargo loader on which the ULD is resting. The cargo loader including the bridge are all fitted with two-dimensional motorized rollers which automatically move the ULDs to the cargo compartment in different directions without human intervention. The ULDs are then finally locked to avoid any movement or disturbance to the aircraft weight. Just like ULDs are specific to different aircraft, even their cargo loaders are the same. Manufacturers make different cargo loaders that are specific to different capacities and different aircraft ULDs. This is the end of today's video. Did you ever imagine your luggage travels all this way? Let us know in the comments section below. See you in the next one.